She scored once, can she do it? She's going over the line and burned for a double! Hello and welcome to O2 Inside Line Live. I'm Rosie Gallagher. I'm Jess Breach. And I'm Zoe Harrison. We're into week six here in New Zealand and although we're called live, because of the time difference, this is a pre-recorded show. So we'd love to answer some of your questions live, but unfortunately we are going to be asleep. So let's talk about New Zealand in November. Let's kick start it with what's happening on Friday, Jess. It's my birthday! Woo! <laughs> How old are you going to be? 25. Oh, oh God. That's old. And I'll get in I'll go. Hope you got me some good gifts, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we have got, yeah, yeah. You have to wait and see. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We've got a few days. So. Anyway. Um, Let's talk about some highlights. Anyone's good food, waterfalls? Anyone done anything fun with their family? Um, so my family came over for the South Africa game, which was my first um, game, and it turned out to be quite successful. Did it? Um, I didn't know. No, neither did I. I didn't really see anything yeah. either. But um, no, it was really nice having them out here, so that's been quite nice. They've gone down to Queenstown this week, and my sister did a skydive, so yeah, they are the living time, the life right life. now. She is. Um, if you didn't know, Rosie and her sister look like twins. Yeah. yeah. So. There has been a few people that have gone up to her in the crowd, being like, can I have your autograph? And she's like, yeah. And she'll just <laughs> sign a little <laughs> RG for me. But oh, I'm just Lucy. like, yeah, go for it. Have fun with it. I'm not sure you meant to admit that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you? Anything fun? Oh yeah, I jumped off the uh, Sky Tower the other day with my dad. Oh nice. Um, yeah, that's what I've done. What else have I done? We went zip lining, didn't we, Jess? Mm, we did. Um, and a lot of shopping is probably. Yeah, money the has other been thing. spent. Yeah. yeah. Bank account's been hit hard. I went over to Wahiki and I got on my first ever hop on hop off bus. Wow, real tourist day. Yeah, and it was like getting a tour. We went past all the vineyards and I was like, oh, I'd love to stop off at all three of those vineyards. But instead went to the beach right at the end, um, had a nice ice cream and then came back. Didn't really leave enough time to do the full shebang. Lovely. And just your family? Yeah, my family are out here. My nephew, cute little Theodore, has finally arrived. So Aww. that's really nice to see him get some cuddles. Um, first holiday at seven months. That is not a bad first holiday, is not it? Not bad, not bad at all. Big events in camp this week. We had Sunter's 138 cap, which is now the most capped England player. She is. Yeah. She is. Um, Incredible. It was great. And huh? it was such a nice day because although, like, obviously, she she played it down mm. so much, oh, yeah. didn't she? She was very humble about it. Like that kind of character, though. She's that yeah, kind of girl. Didn't want to like make a big thing. It was just like any other game. But like when we all came together afterwards and we sang the song and we said we did the poem. Before, uh, for cat presentation, uh, for shirt presentation, and then all the family and friends are there. Like it was such a and nice. And the t-shirts. And the t-shirts. You Don't cannot forget the t-shirts. It was just so nice, like all of us coming together yeah. um, and celebrating it like as one, and it, it didn't feel like it was just like. It, it just felt so teamy, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was really good. And Berner's fiftieth. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. What a player to deserve it. Yeah. Young Berner. as well. Young. Very, very, very young. young. What? It's a big milestone. You'll be soon. You'll be what soon, you little princess. Don't. I don't know Touch if that would. <laughs> Touch words. Um, and roommates. We don't come apart, me and Jess. I, I'm fully aware, girls. <laughs> I'm fully aware. I did see Jess walking out by herself today, Zoe. I don't know if you know. Because I was in Strat. And uh, I was actually looking for my rucksack that I had lost, but thanks, Rosie, for bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, but you two getting on well? Any series together? Anything? Uh, Jess watches series on her own. And right. they're the weirdest series I've no, ever seen. No, they're not. There's stuff that I've started before she's come out here, so then I feel like she can't really watch Do them. you watch more than one series at a time? No. Oh, I was going to say, I thought you were saying No, but she watches series, series backwards, apparently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a long story, it's so pointless. But basically, there's a series on Disney Plus that actually me and Beckett watched when mm. we lived together. She, 
I don't know, I didn't want to finish it or whatever, so I actually carried on watching it, probably just dumb, dug myself a hole because she's probably like, oh, we were going <laughs> to finish it. But anyway, but then I've now watched the one that's pre to that. So okay. I've actually found out the story of the background. Fine. But I've actually finished it, so yeah. it was pretty sad, actually. And what do you do when she's watching these? Goes on TikTok. Just watch TikTok for hours. Scroll in. Hours. But we are watching something called The Watched, but you've told me oh, that's not very good. Oh, no, so. yeah, don't do it. So Ellie came in and was like, Rosie, I'm going to make you watch the last 20 minutes just to show you how bad the acting is. Oh, I, I want you to see the then. ending. And I watched the ending and I was like, okay, have you honestly just spent two days watching it? Like, they binged it, her and Sadi, I think it was, mm. like, binged it, and I was like, this was the worst ending I've ever seen. Mm. We were watching Main Chelsea to go actually, but we've stopped it because we thought we were going to watch it on the flight home yeah. instead. Okay. So that's quite a good idea from but us. But we do, we do like a bit of Main Chelsea. Yeah, we love Main and Chelsea. Um, and then, do you know what? I've been watching cricket. I've been watching the cricket yeah, World Cup all the time. The on, yeah. yeah, just in the background. And then she goes, oh, "What's a catch?" Is it T20? And Jess is just not interested. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, Jess, watch this. You're like, oh. Hello. And here's some more of what we've been getting up to in New Zealand in some highlights from the latest episode of Inside Line Red Roses. Where we talk about the values and the behaviours that we want to uphold. She's the she, she's the pinnacle of all of those. March 2007, I would have been five or six. So I would have just started playing rugby at my little local rugby club. I think as everyone who has ever met her knows, she's just extremely welcoming, extremely friendly, um, puts you at an immediate ease. To be the most capped England player of all time, I don't know. I don't even know how it would feel. Like, I think she'll take it all in her stride, but I think, I don't know, it would be such a proud feeling. Um, like every game I play, I feel so proud, but to be the most capped, like that's just crazy. Hi Sarah, Alan Shearer here. I'm just sending you my huge congratulations on 138 caps. Wow, the most capped England player of all time. Everyone on Tyneside is proud of you and sending best wishes to you and the team. All the best. Cheers. As you can see, Liam's got up to some lovely work there. So if you want to go see the full episode of Inside Line, Red Roses on England's Rugby YouTube and Facebook pages. So sassy, I love it. Liam's really good as well, so you better enjoy it. Here on O2 Inside Line Live, we're hoping to stay connected to back home. So here's some questions. Hey Red Roses, it's Tom Curry here. What is the best thing you've seen since being in New Zealand? Thanks for your question, Tom. Um, the best thing that I've seen so far in New Zealand is Kari Kari Waterfalls. A uh, reason why it was absolutely bucketing down all day and a few of us girls decided to get the minibus to the waterfalls, spent the whole day trekking through in Crocs and um, a bikini. And you just kind of embraced the rain and it was just like the best, fun, weirdest day out ever. Sounds thrilling. Me and Zoe went to a spa. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, we did. We, did we do went that. to get a little massage, Thai massage, didn't we? Yeah, probably the most massages I've had. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. So uh, that's the best thing you've looked at. All, I think the, the best thing. Well, I would speak on behalf of Zoe and me. But when we went on the zip line, the view from oh, Waikiki yeah. Island was actually pretty awesome. We went on a really nice day um, up above, like the vineyards, and you could see um, Auckland City. Um, from basically the sky, so it was actually pretty cool. Dolphins! Go on, dolphins! Yeah, we we saw dolphins! dolphins. Oh, oh god, yeah. Full on. <laughs> they were pretty cool. They were pretty cool, hey. Yeah, they were. Um, sky Tower? And Sky Tower, yeah, that's what I did. I um 
Yeah, the views from the Sky Tower, Auckland, looked uh, great. Hey guys, Topsy Ojo here, and my question is, who's the funniest in camp? Who is the camp clown? Could be stood next to you right now, could be to your left, could be to your right. Who's the joker of the pack? Hey girls, Greg O'Shea here. So I want to know who is the loudest in the Red Roses camp that could be on the field, off the field. Who is the person that you're just like, oh, will they ever just shut up? Let me know. Thanks for the question. Um, it's a good one. It's a tough one being in a... Uh serious tournament so people have sort of gone we've been together 119 yeah. days now oh. we were told yesterday so uh definitely not oh. as many jokes God. flying around no wonder i'm so bored of them. people <laughs> <laughs> funniest <I'm joking>. um, <laughs> driest yes yeah, she's sitting right here <laughs> no not me um loudest oh there's only one person i can put down for this who's that no on oh, three go on, ready guess. ready one, one, two, three. three. Hannah. Rosie, that's all She's gonna say bots. She's gonna say bots. I didn't know about going bots okay. or Hannah. Hannah's, and then funny, Hannah's so we'll just do funny three as well. Ready? Three, two, one. Tash. Tash. Oh. oh. I think since Tash has been here, Everyone's, she's just yeah, brought that bundle of energy. Yeah. Like you can tell she's new energy that's come in and like she's actually boosting people up yeah, and, and she's bringing that light-heartedness. Yeah, she hasn't I agree. been here for a hundred and something days. 119 yeah. days. 119 days. That's a long time. It's <laughs> a long time. Is that including when we're back home? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I was going to say. We haven't been here for, for like nearly days. three months. Three, yeah. four months. Okay, yeah. And Still. 11 days to go. Yeah. We are definitely now on the home straight, aren't we? Are. we? Yeah, we are. What are you most excited to do when you get home? Have a Wagamama's. Going to see my nanny granddad. Oh, um, no, it's okay. oh, take, just, take it down a level. Yeah, I haven't spoke. Well, I try to speak to them as much as I can, but um, it's just when you get into bed at the end of the night, last thing you really want to do is them waking up and being really energetic. So yeah. Just see them, Bless go see them in the Essex, go to my favourite restaurant, Mason's. Oh, yeah. My, mine would just be like being able to. So you're not normal. <laughs> 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 yeah, to be fair, I would like to see my mum, that would be nice. Um, yeah, but also my friends as well. Yeah, yeah a bit of normality. Yeah, a bit of Go normality. Again, I think that, shout out. Yeah, so my best friend, <laughs> she went travelling before I came here, so we haven't actually seen each other for over six months. Oh. So when we get back, I'll probably be seeing her on the first day. Cute. So yeah, very excited about that. Nice. That is cute. Thank you for your questions. We're hoping to answer more over the next couple of weeks. Jess and I have both been on an episode on England Rugby Podcast O2 Inside Line this series, so if you've missed that, make sure you go back and download it. There is also an episode of Sadia Kabir and Simon Medicine in there, but this week's is Marcus Smith talking about his upbringing. I'm always proud to say I'm Filipino or half Filipino. It plays a massive part in my life and I love going back there whenever I can on holiday, seeing my cousins, seeing my family, as well as seeing all the young kids over there who are starting to enjoy their rugby, enjoy lobbing a ball about out outdoors um, with massive smiles on their face. It's pretty special to see um, because it's uh, still a third world country. However, uh, the smiles and laughter that, that some of the people I see when I go back is pretty special and um, I'll always remember those moments. You're listening to the England Rugby Podcast, O2 Inside Line. I am Marcus Smith. And you can listen to the full episode on that on Apple, Acast or whatever you listen to your pods on. Right, it's game time. It's ring toss. Let's get ready to rumble. rumble. In the left corner. Weighing in at 82.7 kilos, we've got the blonde bombshell, Rosie Gallagher! Right, come on, Rosie. What have we got to beat? What is it again? Yeah. 135 you've got to beat, and you've got five... Just try your best. It's the taking part that counts. Yeah. Oh, she's nervous. Oh, that's a poor a start. Solid 25. 
Oh, right. Tough that one. She's under pressure. Oh, Ooh, nice 50. 50. 75 so far. Good match. Oh, stuck it. We've got one more. Oh, nice a 20. 50, 60, 70, That's 90, 95. 95. Woo! That's pretty up there. Actually. Round of applause for Rosie. Yay. Let's go ready, ready to, to rumble. rumble. And in the centre court, we have. Weighing in at 72, 72 kilos, it's Zoe Harrison, AKA the princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice 20. Start. Yeah, 50. Go on, Sam. You got it. Yeah, 20. Nice. Yeah, 50. 145. Yeah, we are the top leader. Woo! Woo! Round of applause for Sally. Let's get ready to rumble. In the right hand corner. Weighing in at 71 kg. Where are you being the point from? Anyway, we've got gorgeous. Go. 25. Oh, 50. Okay. You count, Rosie, you're clever. 125, you're slow. <laughs> <laughs> is that? Uh, yeah, that's in third, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No one's beating my score. 125. Oh. Uh, joint third with Claude. Joint third with Claude. How do you feel about that? Yeah, amazing. Take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Well, thanks for watching us play Ring Toss. We hope you enjoyed. We obviously have a leader in our, in our mitts, which is Princess. <laughs> 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 That's it for O2 Inside Line Live. Thank you so much for all of your support in New Zealand. Keep it going over the next few weeks. Make sure you're following all England Rugby social channels for more behind the scene content, as well as Rosie underscore Gallagher, Zoe Harrison 123, and Jess Breach 97. <laughs> Bye! 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 Bye!